You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Good to hear. Tam Layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up on my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. That he did, right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. I'd bet a fat purse a coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stallrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh, traded them some goods for it. A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell. But I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Ravenrock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Rife, a very talented armorsmith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. Calling Stallrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. No, I... wait... maybe... I don't know how I know that name. I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. You tell Crescius he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. sense into your husband. We can't get blood from a stone, Mobile. As it is, we can barely make ends meet. That isn't my problem. I was clear when I loaned Garwin the money that I wanted Miserable. To Just miserable. Oh, I hate this place. I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. I work for Mopo. You got a problem? You talk Looking for you. any potions? Ingredients? Alchemical supplies? 
So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the world. those special poisons you ask. Welcome to Raven Rock, Traveler. Could I interest you in any fine ash-grown foods? Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always your account. It's been a few months. I said to put it on my account, and that's the end of it. Understand? Want to buy anything, or just laugh at our misfortunes? See for yourself. If you need any supplies, you know where to find me. This island's nothing but a pile of rubble. What's the point trying to make their life here? Find my pickaxe yet? Melor over at the EM Club should be still mixing potions if you're seeking that sort of thing. Far west end of town.
Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. I wish I could have said the same for my man here. Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ashspawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. This is strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius, but that's impossible. Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm gonna head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the Bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, but they keep coming back. We've had two other assaults on the Bulwark, at different spots on the wall. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organized and probing it for weaknesses. Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. Uh, I might know someone, or maybe not. I can't remember. I, I can't. I just can't be sure. I think maybe he had something to do with a temple. A, a, a temple here on the island. Does that help? Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind.
suspicious activity reported at Indelible. I work for Mogro. You got a problem, you talk to him. You look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost? A few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Mafala, bless you. You found it. Well, you've certainly proven your worth around here to me. Please accept this gift as a token of my appreciation. Adril Arano, second counselor of Raven Rock. How I hate that title. Damn fool's going to get himself killed over it someday. He's in grave danger, and yet he continues to place himself in harm's way. When I fall asleep at night, all I can do is hope he'll still be there when I awaken. This island was never meant for us. There's too much death here. I assure you, if I could convince Adril to do that, I'd be on the next ship back to Blacklight. Unfortunately, Adril and Councillor Morvain are very close friends, and they will never abandon one another, despite my feelings. I'm the wife of a second counselor, and certain things are expected of me. The most important thing is that I stand by Adril no matter how I feel, and I intend to do that until we get off this miserable rock. Adril and I lived in Blacklight, the capital city of Morrowind. House Redoran has improved Blacklight substantially over the last thousand years. Its grandeur rivals that of Mournhold itself. The root spire where the Council of Great Houses meet is something to behold. I haven't seen the city in over 50 years. Even for a Dunma, that seems like an eternity. Regardless, I hope to return there someday. Which doesn't seem likely, given my husband's commitment to Councillor Morvain. Why does that sound so familiar? There's no one here by that name, and yet I swear I've heard it. I... I don't know. It almost feels like a dream. Something about a temple on the island. Good journey, traveler. Welcome to Raven Rock, Traveller. Could I interest you in any fine ash-grown foods? Want to buy anything, or just laugh at our misfortunes?
Keep moving. <laughs> 